And shout out my dog without trying, man. Yeah, shout out my yeah. dog without trying. Shout out without trying, bro. You <laughs> mean? That's what I'm talking about. Come on, we live out. This is Valentine. Shout out without trying. My man. All right, yeah. Let the people know where you're from, your age, and, you know, um, your name. All right. My name is Valentine. Um, I'm from West Africa, Benin. 31 years old. Okay. So, um, how long you been in uh, America? I've been here for about nine years. It'll be nine years in May. Okay. So the change from Africa to the United States, how was that? How did that affect you? Like far as the, well, you know, adjusting, trying to adjust to it. Right. That's a really good question. So the the main difference that I tell everyone when I when I get asked that question is that is merely the uh, the approach people have to one another, and also I always say this is the speed internet. That's the whole difference between those two continents. I say continent to say. Uh, America as a whole, even in northern, uh, northern America as well, uh, right. and southern. So, I would say when I got here, it was I immediately went into a form of depression because where I come from, the hospitality is a really big thing. And different, way different. Yeah, way different. Those that you don't know that you just met him for the first time on the street are gonna like offer you, hey, come sit down, let's eat something. Right, you know? right, right. And I got here, I was in Arizona. Yeah. So that's where you lo was located first, Arizona, when yeah. you first got here. Okay, yeah, I gotcha. came out as a student. I was oh, in Arizona. Okay. Yep. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. So you said so the, the hospitality was a lot different out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because I remember they were like, it took me about three months before I could see anyone on my street. Everyone just minded their own business, I guess. Oh, you know, highs or nothing. You no didn't one. even see nobody. Yeah, no one. And then when you see someone, you're like, hey, hey what the, how you doing? It's like, why are you talking to me? Like, right. I don't know, are you, like, are you trying to do something? Rob me or something? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, man. Yeah, that just got to be. So yeah. when did you, um, so from, from Arizona, where did you go? Oh, from Arizona, I went to Oklahoma. Oklahoma? Yeah, I did uh, about two years in Oklahoma. I was actually on my way to New York, and a friend was like, hey, I'm in Oklahoma, come over here, I think you're gonna like it. So I went down there, I liked it, and I stayed. I was there for two years. Um, what part of Oklahoma? Oklahoma, Oklahoma City. Oh, the city, okay. Yeah, okay. the city, so. Yeah. And uh, I got married down there, and uh, had a little girl. Congratulations. Thank you. I had a little girl and uh, joined the military in 2019, 2020. Okay. Got stationed here. <laughs> That's what's up. So you've been a few spots in the uh, US. Oh, yeah. So, did you see any change in different areas in the United States, as far as the hospitality, or was it? Because I know certain parts of the U.S. you can go to, and you may get more hospitality. Like, hey, how you doing? Uh, offer you something to eat. Certain parts of the Southern, I noticed from personal experience, right? They treated me a lot different down there than I do up, you know, in these areas. Right. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. I I recall when I went. Even it wasn't even that far when I went to uh, Missouri. And it was different. Like Missouri, Texas, uh, Texas, Oklahoma, and Arizona, it was a whole different. It was like, am I in the kind of, am I in the same country? You know? Right, right. And uh, but what what's, what's, what differences you think? Uh, what differences did you see in them? So different places. Personally, Arizona was the most racist. Arizona. Oh hell yeah. Okay. Personally, Arizona was the most racist. Right. Uh, I'm saying to the point where I I recall while I was in school. I had, uh, I had a uh, how do you call them uh, academy advisor, okay. and I was telling I was telling her that hey, um, I'm going through some difficulties right now. Is there any way you can uh, assist me? Like, let me get scholarships, you know? She's right. like, yeah, I'll write you a recommendation. She wrote her recommendations, and I, I went for the scholarships. I won some of them. Went back to her, and then she's like, oh no, we cannot give you the scholarships because we have to give it to the citizens first. I'm like, oh, but you wow. told me it was academic base. Wow. And now, why are you not doing it? And that happened to almost all the immigrants that were there. That's crazy. So. <laughs> wow, that's 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 some serious I didn't, That's some serious news. I didn't know it was that serious. Oh, yeah, I had to drop out. And that, that is even, like, that's nothing compared to all the stuff. Like, as an international student, I was paying $25,000 for three semesters. 
You was paying twenty five thousand what? For three semesters in a community college. Oh wow, wow. Yeah. And where is and where is it? That's in Tucson, Arizona. Okay. Yeah. Oh Tucson. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's a lot right there, man. Yeah. For after I paid that twenty five, I was like, I'm not doing this no more. I dropped out. Right. Right. Wow. Yeah. I know we kind of getting off subject, but can we can we uh, go back a little bit and start off like uh, your upbringing, like far as like how did how did you come up? How was it as a child coming up? Where yeah, are you can, from? If can you can, break. you know, if you can sure, get. Sure, yeah, sure. I'm very a very strict dad. He was in the military. Uh, he was infantry, and I ended up doing infantry too. <laughs> okay. But yeah, my uh, dad wasn't he was in the military, and uh, my mom was businessman, a yeah, business lady. She just kept on working, you know doing her thing and my dad was just traveling everywhere. I'm, I spent most of my lifetime with my mom. Well, you like a military brat. Yeah. I'm so we were just traveling from one country to another. My right. dad was working for UN, peacekeeping stuff. And yeah, he got stationed here several times too. Texas, Odessa, and uh, I was in Hawaii. Yeah, so. Oh, wow, yeah. yeah. That's what's up. So. Um well, you, you said you moved out here nine years ago, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, so what you, uh, what what just, I mean, you was telling me stuff off the camera. So what just happened when you, you just told me, uh, I know it's a big surprise, what just happened uh, recently? Oh, yeah. Um, I had a, um, my spouse, um, uncle passed in an accident on the 22nd. And Sorry to hear that. Yeah, I have to take the body home. Yeah, so, um, I called him because I mean, to, an, to a point, he we, we became super close, you know. Like even to he who called him and we were talking, and actually he actually left my place you know, on his way back. He had the accident, so oh wow, yeah, so he oh. kind of touched yeah. me a lot. And he has no kids here, so I was like you know what? Yeah, I gotta do this for him. Yeah, so. yeah, that's a good man for that man. Yeah. But you had on the other hand, you had another. Yeah, oh, and then <laughs> yeah, crazy enough, he he. But I, someone talked uh, like, so my wife, which is his niece, gave birth like uh, on the twenty first, on the twenty fourth. So that is that's really good. Yeah, man. yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. Baby girl or boy? baby girl? Baby girl. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's what's yeah, up. Bringing a little bit of light in the dark. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, you definitely need it. Sometimes they say stuff like that happens, though. It'll be a lot. It'll be darkness, and then the light will come right in. Right, right, you know what right. I'm saying? So yeah, that's good, man. But so far as you um, adjusting to America, like, what are you doing out here now? You say you was in the military. What what you got going on now? Well, yeah, I transitioned out of the military uh, last year. Okay. And now I'm just in school full time and also contracting for DC government on um, DBH to be exact. So, okay. Yeah. Good, good. That's what's up, man. So you making a way, man. You doing what you're supposed to do out here. Oh, man. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Know, I feel like one way or the other, we have to stand up for ourselves and push each other to the most we can. And I'm always ready to support black communities and uh, immigrants as a whole. Like right, any color. Right. As far as you have the hustle for it, let's do it together. If there's any idea you have, I might, I might have one or two things that might work with yours. Let's make it work. That's the goal, you know. Exactly. Because yeah. uh, they've divided us enough where divide and conquer is now getting into our DNA, which shouldn't be. We as a black folks or as uh, like humans as as a whole, it's unity that is always that I've always been the um, the good thing that we have. Right. Uh, divide and conquer is pushing us to to push <laughs> different <laughs> different angles, you know. Right. Right. Yeah, man. So. uh How's the how, how's the weather out here compared to where you're from? Oh yeah, uh, so the weather down there, I think we have about three seasons: raining, uh, the summer, and uh, we have like fog that like, gets really cold. I mean, cold okay. down there, not compared to this. Yeah, yeah, it's different. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, we have those two, yeah, those three. So actually, so yeah. Okay. It so, kind of monsoon as well. Right. What's your favorite season out there? Out there. Right about now. Right, right during this time, yeah. yeah. A little bit of rain, a little bit of sunshine. Right. So, nice. what what part of Africa is that? Because I'm not really not familiar. I know like certain parts, but what? What's yeah. That? So Benin is actually in the west side of Africa, right? Okay. And uh, it's right next to Nigeria, in between Nigeria and Togo. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, he's we are colonized by France, and uh, pretty much uh, <laughs> that's why there's not a lot of 